Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make just a, I'm gonna, just gonna show you a cool way you can make um, cool liquid abstract backgrounds in Photoshop. And this is a really simple way you can make this. Um, first off, I'm gonna click here on the plus sign and add a new layer. I'm then gonna press B on my keyboard um, or just click here to get your brush tool. I'm going to make sure I have a soft round brush and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting um, some random black just randomly then I'm just gonna click here to change the color I'm gonna go with like a medium gray just add some some dots and stuff and then I'm gonna go back to the white and add a bit of that as well once I'm done with this, I'm gonna select my background and the layer we just made, right click on it and convert to smart object. I'm now gonna go to filter liquify and this window will pop up. Let me resize it a little bit for you guys. There we go. And uh, this is our artboard. We want to select this forward warp tool. Just, I'm gonna hold down control and option, click and drag to resize my brush. Otherwise you can just um, adjust the dimensions on this slider. But I'm gonna make it pretty big cause I don't want to, I don't want my background to be too messy and confusing. And what, it, what you wanna do now is just click and drag and just try out different stuff. You're gonna get some really cool wavy things going on. And you wanna adjust this till you're happy with it. I don't want there to be too many things going on, that's why I'm I keep adjusting it and moving those out of the way when it's too confusing. And I think I'm almost, we're almost there. Okay, I like something like this. And as you can see, it's all in the shades of black and white. So what we can do right now is something really cool. Um, so let's say let's say you you could you could have added the colors right away instead of using the black, gray, and white. But then if you don't really like the colors you chose, it's kind of tricky to change uh, specific colors. So if you work in black and white, um, you can then work with gradient maps, which are one of my favorite things in the whole Photoshop world. So just go through the adjustments tab and click on gradient map. You wanna click on this slider. Now I have already my pre-made ones. Uh, so let's say I want to use this one. Look at how cool it is. Basically how it works is whatever color you put on this side is going to affect the shadows or the dark parts of your image. Whatever color you put on this other side is going to affect the highlights. So it's kind of like a gradient. As you can see, let's click on this one that is simple. Um, let's say we have a black pink and white. As you can see, the black is going to affect the parts that were black and the white is affecting the parts that were white and the middle parts are going to affect the midtones. So it's a really nice way to edit your colors non-destructively. And uh, that's basically it. This is so cool. Now, if you want to go take it a step further i'm just gonna select both right click convert to smart object and then i'm just gonna go to filter noise add noise you can decide the percentage i usually go with five or eight but i think feel like eight is a little much i mean it still kind of looks cool so i'm gonna go with eight and uh since we have a smart object. This is added as a smart filter. If you don't, if you want to change it, you can just double click, and you can change the amount. 
and uh, yeah that's basically how I make most of the grainy gradients you see on my um, Instagram and TikTok and everywhere and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, subscribe if you like the content also take a look at my Instagram I post daily on there and um, comment if you have some tutorial requests other than that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye